Get it, there are now more Russian spies in London than at the height of the Cold War and the change. If priorities to focus on counter-terrorism operations means Russian agents now have free movement throughout the UK, added. John Bayliss, who retired from National Electronic Surveillance Organization GCHQ in 2010, Mr. Bayliss, who now lectures on security threats, made his remarks in the wake of the assassination attempt of Russian defector and double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia in Salisbury, following Russia's failure to respond to the British government by last night's midnight deadline, Theresa May today announced her decision to expel 23 Russian diplomats who have been identified as undeclared intelligence officers. However, according to Mr. Bayliss's assessment, this is a mere drop in the ocean. GETTYPM Theresa May has announced Britain is expelling 23 Russian diplomats, she said, I think it's sort of accepted that there are more spies in London now than there were at the height of the Cold War in the Cold War, it was quite difficult for Russians to move around the country, they were restricted outside London. But now they've pretty much got free movement, they can go anywhere, we haven't got enough people to follow everybody all the time. Mark Goliotti, a Russia expert at the Institute of International Relations in Prague, agreed that Russian President Vladimir Putin, who was himself a KGB officer, had expanded overseas intelligence networks so that they reached a surpassed Cold War levels. Getty Belgrave Square in London has been nicknamed Red Square because of the many Russian expats. This is the way Putin runs his state. Mark Goliotti he said, there is a sense that Russia is geopolitically in competition with the West. In these current circumstances, spies are relatively cheap and relatively effective. This is the way Putin runs his state. The 21st century has seen a tenfold increase in the Number of Russian nationals living in the capital, from just over 15,000 in 2001 to an estimated 150,000 in 2014. Among these are plenty of critics of Mr. Putin who have been granted political asylum. People Russia regards as enemies of the state. In 2016, the BBC reported that fashionable Belgrave Square had been nicknamed Red Square as a result of the number of wealthy Russian expats living there, while the capital is also sometimes referred to as London grad, speaking to the New York Times, another former British intelligence official who asked to remain anonymous described the scene as a lot of Putin's friends, and former friends, and enemies, and allies, all swelling around together in this moneyed scene, he added, and of course half of them send their kids to British public schools.